Hi, my name is Mark Newell. I'm the Director of Research for the uh, Medway Research Institute. Some years ago, I was asked to uh, develop a research program for a device called the Fast Size Extender, which was a new penile traction device, and this is it, I have it here, uh, which is used for a couple of purposes, uh, initially for phalloplasty, which is enlarging the penis. My research involved uh, Peronis disease, which is uh, a disease caused by injury of some type or growth of scar tissue in the penis. This is scar tissue that doesn't expand, so that when an erection occurs, that lack of expansion causes a curvature. Uh, it can be painful, sometimes it's not painful, it can be slight in terms of curvature, or it can be curvature so severe, 90 degrees sometimes, that uh, the patient is simply not functional in terms of being able to have sex. The uh, research program I designed was built around this device and its use over a three to six month period uh, in order to treat that particular disease, Peronis disease. And we discovered that uh, after a period of six weeks, gentle, long-term, up to eight hours a day traction on the penis actually began to break up the plaque and uh, reduce the curvature. These were trials that were conducted by Dr. Lawrence A. Levine, FACS of uh, uh, Chicago and were reported in publications which he and I uh, uh, wrote, papers we wrote in various publications, uh, during 19, uh, two, 2007. Those results pretty much showed that uh, over a six month period uh, in the patients in the study, correction of peronies occurred to a very high degree. Some patients achieved a 45 uh, degree uh, correction. In other words, one patient with a 90 degree bend was able to become functional. We also noticed during that trial that the device created um, girth and length for the patient. Uh, in one case, up to an inch, and that patient achieved an additional half inch by further use of the device after the trial. So we know it works. Um, the actual principles behind it are still being researched. Uh, and we we're also using this device to uh, see what it does to help patients in terms of penile rehabilitation. And that is, the expansion process that we know now occurs may be creating new nerve tissue, new vascular tissue, as well as muscular tissue. This may be of great benefit to patients with ED. Uh, we certainly also believe it will be of value to patients uh, having implants. A certain degree of penile atrophy occurs in patients that, with long-term ED. These are usually the candidates for implants. Uh, this is shrinking of the penis. And uh, use of the fast size extender enables these patients to gain length prior to surgery, which means they can have a bigger implant, and that leads to greater patient satisfaction, which is very important. This is uh, going to be the topic of a new trial that we're now developing with several companies in the United States, and we'll be reporting on in the next year or so. Uh, this is an important device for the new applications that we're beginning, beginning to discover for it. And uh, as such, it is the only device on the market today uh, that is supported by the uh, uh, medical community, uh, has been researched by the medical community, and has a protocol which basically is a written course of treatment behind it uh, for the use of uh, the device for Peronis disease. These are all very important factors when considering which extended device to use for treatment of Peronis disease or for rehabilitation or even for phalloplasty. It is always important, of course, to have the supervision or at least the, uh, the overview of a doctor, your own physician, when you're embarking on a course of treatment using a device like this. Uh, but the important fact is that we now know that penile traction does have benefits, it does work, and it can have uh, uh, real possibilities for improving the lifestyle of patients um, with ED and with a need for rehabilitation uh, and correction of Peronis disease. So, very useful device in that respect.